Hey, I'm Chris. This is AFA Addy Family Adventures, and this is Monday, and you know what that means. REACTION VIDEO! So, today we have another reaction comparison video. So before we get started, remember to hit that thumbs up to like the video. Remember this. It's not hard just to hit that little thumbs up. It helps out the channel and it's just not me. It's every YouTuber. If there's something you're watching and you enjoy it, remember to hit that thumbs thumbs up to help that YouTuber out. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button and uh, let's start reacting. All right, so for the first one, we are, what, let me tell you what we're reacting to. We're reacting to this back here, this right here, this, 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 the Tower of Terror. And we're doing comparisons because there's four of them. And one we're going to have to go back because it's no longer the Tower of Terror now. And I've already done a reaction video on it, which was Guardians of the Galaxy's uh, Operation breakout so uh we're gonna go back and find a video of the old tower of terror there in disney california adventure but we are gonna do these from newest to oldest and the oldest is that one right there so that one will be last it's the original it's the only one built that way the rest of them were built differently so let's get on to it. I'm going to read a little bit of stuff before we get there. Uh, so just give me one second. And uh, so we're going to start in Tokyo, C Tokyo Disney Sea. And uh, it says the storyline of the attraction is more complex than that of the American and European counterpart. The scenario involves the adventure of the hotel's famous builder and owner, Harrison Hightower III modeled after imaginary executive Joe Road, which we just he just heard. He just retired here not too long ago. Who went on in many expeditions through the world and collected thousands of priceless artifacts. Most of these artifacts were stolen for personal gain and stored in his hotel. After one such expedition to Africa, he brought home an idol with the name of Shariki Utundu. I think so. So Hightower claimed that the natives were angry to have their beloved god taken and that they threatened that the idol would curse him. On New Year's Eve, 1899, Hightower held a press conference about his expedition to Africa. Followed by a huge party, Hightower boasted about how he acquired the idol and denied claims of it being cursed. Just as he left the party, he mocked the idol using its head to put out his cigar. Around midnight, he entered the elevator to retire to his private apartment in the hotel penthouse. As the elevator neared the top, the idol came to life. The idol's immense rage and power caused the elevator to plummet and crash onto the ground floor. When the doors were pried open, only Hightower's hat and the idol were re recovered. The hotel was abruptly closed and condemned, for more than a decade, rumored by, a lo by locals to be haunted. In 1912, following pressures to demolish the hotel, a New York restoration company reopened it because of its historical significance. The company now offers paid tours of the building. It is on these tours that guests embark when they enter the hotel. <laughs> So we have a pre-show for this. Oh wow.
Well, this is pretty cool. Oh, and he disappeared. Oh my gosh. Wow. So they have a pre-show and then you have a queue. Oh, here it is. I take it that's Eris and High Tower. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Wow. Oh, that's neat. You can see yourself. Oh, no. So wow, I I like that version. It's pretty cool. Uh, I I like how it's a whole different backstory. The reason why there is a backstory is because the Japanese don't know about the Twilight Zone, so that's why it had a different backstory. So, but the backstory for it is pretty cool. I really liked it. Uh, it had a different feel. Uh, it's just really neat and if some people don't know Harrison Hightower the Hightower family actually has a connection to the Haunted Mansion so it connects the Tower Terror in Tokyo Japan with the Haunted Mansion I think that's pretty cool so uh so now we're going to be moving on over to Paris for their unique Tower of Terror all right, so for the Paris version, it and the California version were so, somewhat alike when it first started out. So it was basically what it was. It was the the story was somewhat like the one in Walt Disney World, but which we haven't got to, but there was some changes because it was they were built differently than the one in Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. So it's it goes on, uh, instead of the auto autonomous vehicle found in the original in incarnation, the new ride system limited the elevator car to a single shaft. As the elevator's doors closed, the lights of the service elevator flickered out. The design, multiple car per shaft, multi-level boarding ride system requires that one elevator load while another be in the drop shaft progresses through the ride cycle as such. The first movement movement guest experiences horizontally as the elevator itself is pulled back from the doors as Rod Serling's voice is heard. You are the passenger as on a most uncommon elevator. With a flash of lightning, the walls of the basements disappear altogether, leaving only a star field around the service doors with a rotating purple spiral. About to take the strangest about to take the strangest journey of your lives, your destination, unknown, but this is much clear. A reservation has been made in your name for an extended stay. 
The elevator rises quickly to the fifth floor because the dark ride portion of the ride takes place in the drop shaft. The physical vertical vehicle conveyance system moves more quickly and nimbly than Florida's, in which the first tower functions only as a dark ride and is not built for the quick movement that drops the portion requires. As such, visitors feel a moment of weightlessness as the elevator quickly ascends and then stops on the fifth floor, where the doors open on an ornate wood-framed mirror in a brightly lit corridor of the hotel, and riders see the reflection in its glass. Serling's voice then says, Wave goodbye to the real world. Suddenly, lightning strikes the hotel, and the lights of both the corridors and elevators flicker out. A ghostly wind blows through a window, and re the reflection of riders in the elevator become distorted. With another blast, the elevator rumbles and shakes, and with a final blast of lightning, the electrified reflections disappear, leaving only the image of an the empty elevator in the mirror as the doors close. For you have just entered the Twilight Zone. The elevator descends and opens to reveal the corridor seen with an image of another elevator at the end of the corridor, where Florida's version shows a window. Serling delivers his next narration. What happens here to the dim lights of Hollywood's brightest showplace is about to unfold once again. The five missing guests from 1939 appear in the corridor, crackling with electricity and beckoning riders to join them. Then they disappear in a bolt of electricity, and the walls in the corridor become a star field, leaving just the other elevator. As Serling says, one stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and into a nightmare. The other elevator doors open to reveal the lost passengers inside as both elevators appear to float through space. That door is opening once again, but this time it's opening for you. The distant guests fall, then the distant elevator, followed by the ride elevator. The version of the ride does not have a randomized drop sequence, so the ride experience is identical in every drop shaft. Regardless of which floor passengers board on, two small drops occur in pitch black, black darkness, followed by a rise to the top of the tower as in-cabin lights flicker. The door is then open to reveal the view from the top floor before... The car drops briefly, pauses, and drops along the remainder of the shaft. The elevator then raises almost to the top and immediately drops without stopping. In complete darkness, the elevator then ascends all the way to the top of the tower, shuddering and falls to the bottom of the shaft to the area in between the two loading floors. To ensure each rider is identical, each ride is identical with the elevator being finally returned to its load level and horizontal push back into place at the boiler room's service doors. The height of the ride is 130 feet, and the elevator drop 124 feet in total. As the elevator is pushed back into place, Serling delivers his final nar narration. The next time you check into a deserted hotel on the dark side of Hollywood, make sure you know just what kind of vacancy you're filling, or you may find yourself a permanent residence of the Twilight Zone. So uh, the story is somewhat similar to that of the one in Walt Disney World. But in 2019, the Paris version actually changed. It became the Twilight Zone Tower Terror, a new dimension of chills. On September 10th, 2019, it was announced that the Paris version would be reimagined to the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror and New Dimension of Chills. The ride will be enhanced with new ride profiles, drop sequence, effects, and storylines that ex banned upon the original one. According to Imagineer Tom Fitzgerald, the, imagine, the reimagining introduced three new Twilight Stone storylines, each starring the little girl who disappears in the hotel elevator from the original sto story. The first one is called The Malevolent Machine. To, the elevator has become a sentient being and is in on touring guests as it rises and falls through the tower. The second is the shaft creatures. Demonic creatures who prey on human sounds have infested the elevator shaft and looking for new victims. The little girl warns guests to stay quiet to avoid being caught by these creatures. Interesting, the Shiriki 
Untudu, Evil's Laughter, from the Tokyo Disney Sea version is used to represent the creatures. The fifth dimension. This is the, the third backstory. A portal to the fifth dimension has been opened and Sinister Spectre is eyeing the guest as its new victim. The reimagined attraction opened on September 28, 2019, in time for Disneyland Paris's Halloween celebration. So let's go ahead and, and uh, react to the Disneyland Paris's version. All right, so this is going to be the first version of this. The first, it's the Malevolent Machine. So uh, it's not going to show them getting on or anything. It's going to start right inside. Right. So let's go ahead and react to this. Uh, one of those backstories for the Disneyland Paris. Wow, that's kind of creepy. Where's the screams? So that was kind of eerie. Uh, there was no screams at all. I don't, I don't know if they somehow put them out or what, but that that was that was kind of different. That was just a little weird. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next backstory, which I think it's called the Shaft Creatures. So let's go ahead and move over to that. So once again, this is gonna be a short short one. Uh, this is the only one I could find for the Shaft Creatures backstory. And uh, it's going to be really short. The ride's already in progress. But let's go ahead and react to it. Once again, the ride is already in progress, and this is the third backstory for Paris, and it is called The Fifth Dimension. Let's go ahead and react to this version. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Antoscelle No. Oh, un altro quanto scende, io non voglio, se posso tenere la mano, scusami, mi devo agganciare. Ah! Faccio... Non sono pronto! Fatta, basta! All right, uh, I, there might have been some changes, but I really didn't see very many, many changes. Like I said, there's not very many videos out there uh, showing the differences. Uh, there may be video where somebody already did the differences on this. This, I'm just kind of trying to show the comparison between all the Towers of Terrors. So that was just kind of a, a bonus there that I showed all three versions. I tried. I tried to show all three versions there at uh, Paris. So uh, let's move on over to California. And this one is when it was Tower of Terror, not the Guardians of Galaxies Operation Breakout. So let's go on. We're moving from Paris to California now. All right, so the California version. So uh, this video is five years old because obviously it's no longer the Tower of Terror there anymore. Uh, this is gonna start off where, uh, you're in the room before you go into the rest of the queue in the Boilermaker, right after Rod Serling does the whole Twilight Zone, uh, thing on the television. So we're gonna watch a little bit of what maybe their boiler room look like compared to what the Walt Disney World's or Hollywood Studios boiler room looks like. So let's go ahead and start reacting to the California version. Looks a lot similar to the one at Walt Disney World. Well, maybe a little different. It's always that anticipation when you're waiting just to get on the ride. That's that's like one of the greatest parts. And then the excitement starts when you get up to the ride, like right here going in. Wow. 
You have just entered the Twilight Zone. Oh what happened here to dim the lights of Hollywood's brightest showplace is about to unfold once again. step through the door of an elevator and into a nightmare. The door is opening once again. But this time, it's opening for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> So that that was different. Uh I mean, I really like that. I like some of the different scenes in that. Uh it's too bad it's not around anymore. So uh I mean I did see how it would be fun and everything like that. Uh the view outside the top, I don't know it just didn't seem right to me. Uh but other than that, I think the ride looks great. Uh but unfortunately it's no longer there. It's kind of sad, but but uh, we did do a reaction video on the Guardians of the Galaxy Operation Breakout. So if you want to see what that looks like, you can always go and find that in, in our library for, for our channel. So let's go ahead and let's move to Florida to Walt Disney World's Hollywood Studios. Be the granddaddy. The very first one. All right. So here we are. We're at the original. The only one built like this. And uh, some things you may not know is that Tower of Terror, or the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, or the, Holly, or the Hollywood Tower Hotel is the second highest structure in Walt Disney World, just behind Expedition Everest. So let's go ahead and react to the original, the one and only, none of them, no other of them were built like this one, Twilight Zone Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios and Walt Disney World. So as you can see, the elevator moved out of the elevator shaft. Oh. 
work to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of imagination, in the Tower of Terror. <laughs> So I didn't ex exactly explain that for any of you who may have uh, not rode the one in Walt Disney World. I'm sorry. I maybe I I, I just the way I am. I just feel like most people who are watching me has actually rode this, and I understand that there are some people that are watching that this hasn't. So let me go ahead and uh, bring that up. Just give me one second. All right, so the one in Walt Disney World or Hollywood Studios there in Walt Disney World, the backstory for it, it's basically the same, but there's a little more to it. So entering through the hotel hotel's front doors, guests encounter interior design to give the impression that the Hollywood Tower Hotel has been left untouched since the night of its closure. The lobby is covered in dust and draped with cobwebs, and throughout there are other signs of hotel abrupt closures. Past the front desk, the main elevators are in a dilapidated state and a sign reads, out of order. Guests are informed by bellhops that their rooms are not ready yet. And they are then ushered into the hotel library, which houses the hotel collection of books, antiques, an old television set, and various pieces of Twilight Zone memorabilia scattered about the room. Through the library window, guests can observe a severe thunderstorm raging outside. With a crash of thunder and lightning, the power suddenly goes out except the television set, which crackles into life and plays the opening scene from the fourth and fifth season of The Twilight Zone, hosted by Rod Serling. You unlock the door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over to the Twilight Zone. The, the episode goes on to depict the events of a stormy night in 1939. Hollywood, 1939, amid the glitz and the glitter of the bustling movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right, a beacon for the show business elite. Now something is about to happen that will change all that. As the video plays, a lightning bolt strikes the tower and causes five people, a celebrity couple, a rising child star, her nanny, and a hotel bellhop to vanish from the elevator along with an entire wing of the building. The scene then cuts to the out-of-order out elevator and digital altered footage of Rod Serling from It's a Good Life. The time is now, on an evening very much like the one we have just witnessed, tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator. Still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this, this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone.
The television then turns off and the guests are directed through the boiler room doors where they await the maintenance service elevator arrival. So what happens is, is uh, the original elevator where the people disappeared at is out of service. So you're taking the maintenance elevator. So the so what happens is when you get to that part, it moves from the maintenance elevator shaft over to the out of order shaft, which is out of order because of what happened back during that time. And that's when you're being transported through to the twilight zone. So that's the difference. Uh, I don't want to be biased. I think the original is the better one. Uh, I I love the idea of the the elevator shaft changing elevator shafts, and I think that is what makes this more superior. Now I'm not saying I didn't like the other ones. I do like the other ones. I really like the one from Tokyo. I love what they did in Paris with the different backstories. I really wish I could have just found more footage of all three backstories. But to me, this is the original and original is the better one is the way i see it so i hope i don't offend anybody with this i i really liked all of them i do but if i have to pick one that i prefer it's going to be the original there at hollywood studios at walt disney world there in florida but as for that i hope to catch you on the next adventure and remember adventure is out there thanks Thanks for stopping.